extreme top speed and off-roading do not always fit together and are usually reserved for the professional drivers at rallies. Manufacturers, however, aren't too concerned about the obvious limitations and safety restrictions, so the family of so-called off-road supercars is constantly being extended with ever more impressive newcomers. In this episode of Automotive Territory, we have collected these beastly machines that blur the lines between tracks and deserts. So get ready for some all-train action at unimaginable speeds. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon not to miss the next episodes. Enjoy the ride! Lafitte G-Tech X-Road Lafitte Supercars was established in 2017 as a niche automotive design and manufacturing enterprise headquartered in California. Their most recent creation was inspired by the Dakar Rally buggies and is claimed to be the world's first road-legal production all-train supercar. The X-Road's chromium molybdenum steel platform is produced by the European chassis builder g -Tech, while the final assembly is done in Los Angeles. The off-roader will be sold in both internal combustion and electric versions. While the specs for the latter have not been announced yet, the gas guzzling variant will be powered by the GM-sourced 6.2-liter LS3 V8 in two states of tune, 470 and 730 horsepower. The Lafitte g X-Road utilizes a tough suspension with 15.6 inches of travel, rides on rugged tires, but still keeps the top speed at the competitive level of 143 miles per hour. Bentley Continental GT GP Ice Race Dressed up to compete in the famous GP Ice Race in Salemsee, Austria, this is an off-road, snow-capable version of the Bentley's Grand Tourismo Coupe. To meet the racing requirements, it received a rear roll cage, racing seats with harnesses, and onboard fire suppression system. Plus, to withstand harsh winter conditions, the Continental GT gained an increased ground clearance, a 15mm wider track, and a custom Akropovich exhaust system. The car's superior grip on snow is courtesy of the studded Pirelli Scorpion i 2 tires. Additionally, it was fitted with a roof rack, which was holding a pair of skis, used by the professional skier Swan Robber in the ski jorking exercise after the race. No changes were applied to the coupe's powertrain, since this W12 engine is already competition-worthy, delivering 626 horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque. GFG Style Kangaroo Developed by the famous designers Giorgiato and Fabrizio Giorgiaro, the Kangaroo looks like a regular supercar at the first glance. It is dynamic, low-slung, and designed specifically for track. Plus, the car boasts lightweight carbon fiber bodywork, 22-inch wheels, and beefed-up powertrain. Its 90 kWh battery powers two motors, which net the total output of 483 horsepower and 501 pound-feet of torque. This allows it to go from a standstill to 62 in 3.8 seconds and achieve the electronically limited top speed of 155 mph. What stands out about this two-seater is its four doors, two gullwing and two scissor, that should simplify getting in and out of the car. Another thing that makes Kangaroo unique is its hydraulic suspension that has three selectable modes, racing, road and off-road, and it adjusts ground clearance from 5.5 inches to off-road ready 10.2. Lamborghini Urus with off-road package Holding the title of the world's fastest production SUV, the Urus can also be optioned with a special off-road package to meet the demands of those customers who want to test their 200k SUV on the wild mountainside or desert terrain. It offers 9.76 inches of ground clearance, which is about 1.5 inches more than a standard model, and even half an inch more than the latest Ford F-150. Among the visual changes are steel reinforcements on the bumpers, brushed steel exhaust tips, and metal underbody protection. However, the biggest updates are hidden in sight, as the Urus expands the driving mode selection to 6, adding new Terra and Sabia modes. The former helps you control the SUV on extremely rough off-road surfaces, while the Sabia has been developed to ride on gravel surfaces and sand. Miss R Zing Mobility 
has been specializing in the development of electric powertrains and battery solutions since 2015. Additionally, to prove the viability of their technology, the Taiwanese startup created the Miss R, a so-called rally-inspired supercar with on- and off-road capabilities. The compact beast is powered by the patented state-of-the-art immersion cooling high-discharge battery system with capacity of 52 kWh. Plus, thanks to the rapid energy swap, the entire battery pack can be replaced in 5 minutes. The drivetrain is comprised of four independent 400V motors that ensure all-wheel drive while outputting 1 MW or 1341 horsepower and peaking at 1279 pound-feet. The projected performance of a prototype are 1.8 seconds 0 to 60, max speed of 170 mph and 156 miles range. Aston Martin DBX While such behemoths of the premium market as Bentley, Lambo and Rolls-Royce have been selling their sports utility vehicles for a couple of years now, this British brand is arriving to the segment a little late, with the DBX SUV expected to start deliveries in May 2020. The model rides on a dedicated platform and is powered by Mercedes-AMG M177 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 engine. This potent mill channels 550 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque via an 8-speed automatic to all four, plus the setup is enhanced with the active central differential and electronic rear limited slip differential. This crossover will zoom to 60 and 4.3 seconds, topping at 181 miles per hour. It is the first Aston to be equipped with an all-around air suspension that is rated for the 95mm right height adjustment, while the powerful 48V antibody roll system keeps the wheels grounded at all times. How do you like them off-road supercars? Which model blows your mind the most? Explore the whole lineup and make a ruling in the comment section. Like this episode and let's get back to it! Alpine A110 Sports X The 1973 Monte Carlo Rally was dominated by the A110 Rally car, which is now being reimagined by Renault's performance brand Alpine. The production version of this tiny coupe is actually one of the best balanced mid-engine sports cars on the market. It is sold in three configurations, Pure, Legendi and S, all powered by the turbocharged 1.8-liter engine with 252 through 292 horsepower. The Sports X one-off is based in the Pure trim, which was enhanced with a raised by 60mm suspension, widened wheel arches and a ski rack. The off-road Alpine still uses a 7-speed Gatrack dual-clutch automatic channeling power to the rear wheels and completes 0-16 to pH in just 4.5 seconds. Jaguar F-Type Rally Car Edition The Jaguar XK120 was a rather successful rally car back in 1950s, so to commemorate its 70th anniversary, the company released two F-Type checkered flag limited edition convertibles with design cues from the old-timer. Built to follow the FIA standards, both cars are powered by the same 2.0-liter Ingenium turbocharged four-cylinder netting 300 horses and are equipped with a comprehensively upgraded brakes and suspension, including front and rear four-piston calipers, three-way adjustable and hand-built competition dampers and softer springs. Further modifications include a protective roll cage, race seats with six-point harness, bonnet-mounted light pods and fire extinguisher. Finally, the hydraulic handbrake, coupled with a limited slip differential, allowed to tackle sharp turns and drive on loose terrain. Lamborghini Huracan Storato While this Huracan on steroids is not likely to ever move from the concept territory to even limited production, it truly really demonstrates the growing off-roading expertise of the Italian supercar brand. Based on the all-wheel drive version of the new Huracan Evo, the Storato sits 1.85 inches higher and has wider wheel track and wheel arches to accommodate 20-inch wheels with grippy balloon tires. It also receives a titanium roll cage, aluminum underbody reinforcements and protective composite bodywork. Just as the standard Evo, the Storato comes powered by the 5.2-liter naturally aspirated V10 and features lots of Lamborghini-developed performance technologies, including Dynamica Veicolo Integrato, 
with predictive logic that has been recalibrated for off-road driving. Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo The production version of the utilitarian Taycan Cross Turismo has already been spotted without camo and is expected to be unveiled by the end of 2020. For now though, let's explore the Mission E Cross concept that previews this urbanized off-roader with a true sports car sole. Basically, this is a performance wagon with raised clearance, rugged tires, reinforced cladding and cavernous boot. This model is likely to keep the Taycan platform in its entirety, so we should expect the 800 volt architecture with 530 through 761 horsepower output and the range between 185 and 257 miles. The so-called all-electric Panamera will be marketed as a crossover utility vehicle to those drivers who will not mind to experience Porsche's 2.8 second 0 to 6 acceleration on the beaten roads outside the city. The Boot Scuderia Cameron Glickenhaus is the boutique American car maker that specializes in manufacturing of exotic high-performance racing and road-legal cars. Their boot is a Baja-styled off-roader which reimagines the original Baja boot once raced by Steve McQueen in the late 1960s. The Scuderia will be available as a two-door soft top both in road-legal and racing configurations. The former was modernized with a 6.2-liter 460-horsepower LT1 V8, while the competition package had to receive a beastly 650-horsepower 6.2-liter supercharged LT4 V8. From the outside, this off-roader has tank-like appearance with 22 inches of suspension travel, rugged 37 or 40-inch BF Goodrich Baja tires, a fuel tank for 500 miles of range, and of course, out-of-this-world exhaust pipes in the back. Ariel Nomad by Classic Car Studio Ariel Atom is the fans' favorite lightweight race car that can steal any driver's heart with its breathtaking acceleration and bruising open cabin action. Today, however, let's take a look at the off-road version of the Atom labeled the Nomad and specifically the one modified by Classic Car Studio. Its muscles are the usual 4-cylinder 2.4-liter IVTC from Hansa that transfers to the wheels 238 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque. Taking into account the weight of the vehicle of 1430 pounds, the output is unprecedented 356 horsepower per ton, resulting in 3.4 seconds 0 to 60 sprints. The 20 grand upgrade done by CCS gives the Nomad the long travel GRI and remote reservoir shocks, a 13 gallon tank with twin filters for the long haul, a Tilton Alcan Motorsports braking system and an aggressive tactical guise. Were you impressed with the list and which of these supercars is your favorite? Give us some feedback about this episode in the comment section and do not hesitate to suggest topics that you would like to be covered in the future videos. Subscribe to Automotive Territory for all of your informative car videos. Like this episode and proceed to watching other lineups by clicking on the icons on the screen. May the torque be with you!